Look at this place. The sun shining off the water, a gentle breeze whispering through the trees. It's enough to lull you into a false sense of security. But trust me, beneath the surface of these tranquil waters, danger lurks. While they may look peaceful, these lakes hide dangers that can be deadly. From hidden currents to unexpected storms, poisonous gases to toxic blooms, these bodies of water demand our utmost respect. Join me as we explore the world's most dangerous lakes, uncovering the threats they hold and learning how to stay safe in their presence and avoid peril. Deep in the heart of Africa, nestled between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo, lies Lake Kivu. Now this lake might look like a paradise, a sparkling jewel amidst lush green mountains. But beneath its beauty lies a deadly secret, one that could turn this serene landscape into a scene of devastation. You see, Lake Kivu is what we call a limnic eruption lake. Sounds exotic, right? But don't let the name fool you. Well, it's as dangerous as it sounds, if not more. Imagine millions of tons of carbon dioxide suddenly erupting from the depths, suffocating everything in its path. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario, it's a real and present danger. That's the terrifying reality of Lake Kivu. And it's happened before, with devastating consequences. In 1986, a limnic eruption in nearby Lake Neos released a massive cloud of CO2, killing nearly 2,000 people in surrounding villages. The event was a stark wake-up call to the deadly potential of these lakes. The gas, silent and invisible, crept through the night, suffocating people in their sleep. It was a silent killer, striking without warning. It's a stark reminder of the raw power that nature holds, even in its most beautiful forms. The serene surface of the lake hides a deadly force beneath. But here's the thing about Lake Kivu. It's not just the threat of a sudden eruption that we need to worry about. The lake also contains massive amounts of methane gas, trapped beneath its surface. This methane is a ticking time bomb, waiting to be unleashed. We're talking about enough methane to potentially power entire nations. The energy potential is enormous, but so is the risk. But extracting it is a risky business. The process requires precision and care, as any mistake could be catastrophic. One wrong move, one miscalculation, and we could trigger a catastrophic release of both methane and CO2. The consequences would be unimaginable. It's a delicate dance between harnessing the lake's potential and respecting its immense power, the balance is precarious, and the stakes are incredibly high, and it's a reminder that even in the face of such danger, human ingenuity and our thirst for knowledge continue to push us forward. We strive to understand and harness these natural forces, even as we respect their power. From the heart of Africa, we travel to North America, to the Great Lakes region, a place of immense natural beauty and ecological significance. Now, most folks associate the Great Lakes with vastness, with powerful storms that can stir up the waters and create dramatic scenes. And while that's all true, Lake Erie holds a different kind of danger, a silent, insidious threat that can poison its waters and choke the life out of it. I'm talking about toxic algae blooms, a phenomenon that has been increasingly troubling for the lake and its surrounding communities. Picture this, the once blue waters of Lake Erie transformed into a sickly green soup, a sight that is both alarming and disheartening. That's the work of cyanobacteria, microscopic organisms that thrive in warm, nutrient-rich waters, often fueled by human activities. And when they bloom, they release toxins that can be harmful to both humans and wildlife, creating a ripple effect of negative consequences. These blooms have become a recurring nightmare for those living along Lake Erie's shores, affecting their daily lives and livelihoods. The toxins can contaminate drinking water supplies, forcing cities to shut down intakes and leaving residents without safe water. They can cause skin rashes, nausea, and liver damage in humans, making it a public health concern. And for wildlife, the effects can be even more devastating, disrupting entire ecosystems. Fish can die en masse, their gills clogged with algae, leading to a significant decline in fish populations. Birds can ingest the toxins, leading to paralysis and death, further impacting the food chain. It's a grim reminder of the delicate balance of our ecosystems and the devastating consequences when that balance is disrupted, often by human actions. But it's not just about pointing fingers at nature. We must acknowledge our role in this crisis. Human activities, particularly agricultural runoff and wastewater discharge, play a significant role in fueling these toxic blooms, exacerbating the problem. The fertilizers we use to grow our food, 
the chemicals we wash down our drains, they all contribute to the problem, creating a nutrient-rich environment for these harmful blooms. So, what can we do? How can we mitigate this growing threat? Well, we need to be more mindful of our impact on the environment, starting with reducing our reliance on fertilizers and pesticides. We need to implement better practices in agriculture and invest in more efficient wastewater treatment facilities and we need to invest in advanced water treatment technologies to ensure that our water remains safe and clean for future generations. By taking these steps, we can help protect Lake Erie and other vital water bodies from the green monster that threatens them. Now, when it comes to sheer power and unpredictability, few bodies of water can match Lake Michigan. It's a lake that can turn from calm to chaos in the blink of an eye. One minute, you might be sailing under clear blue skies, the next, you're battling towering waves and howling winds. Lake Michigan is notorious for its sudden and severe weather changes. The lake's size and depth, combined with its geographic location, make it a breeding ground for intense storms. Cold air sweeping down from Canada collides with warm, moist air rising from the lake, creating a volatile mix. And when those storms hit, they hit hard. We're talking about gale force winds, torrential rain, and waves that can reach heights of over 20 feet. These storms can capsize boats, swamp shorelines, and even drag unsuspecting swimmers out to sea. But it's not just the storms themselves that pose a threat. The lake's cold waters can be just as deadly. Even on a warm summer day, the water temperature in Lake Michigan rarely rises above the low 70s. And if you're unfortunate enough to find yourself in the water during a storm, hypothermia can set in quickly. That's why it's crucial to always check the weather forecast before venturing out onto Lake Michigan. And always, always wear a life jacket, no matter how experienced a swimmer you are. Our journey takes us now to the southern Ural Mountains of Russia, to a place that's less about natural danger and more about the devastating consequences of human actions. Lake Karachay isn't a place of beauty, of serene waters and lush landscapes. It's a place of stark haunting reminders of the price we can pay for unchecked industrial ambition. You see, Lake Karachay was once a dumping ground for the Soviet Union's nuclear waste. For years, radioactive materials were poured into its waters, turning the lake into one of the most polluted places on Earth. The levels of radiation are so high that simply standing on the shores of Lake Karachai for an hour could deliver a lethal dose. The surrounding area is a desolate wasteland scarred by decades of contamination. The trees are stunted and twisted, their leaves a sickly yellow. The ground is barren, devoid of life. The story of Lake Karachai is a sobering reminder of our responsibility to protect the environment. It's a reminder that the choices we make today can have far-reaching consequences for generations to come, and it's a call to action to find safer, more sustainable ways to manage our waste and protect our planet. We return now to the land of limnic eruptions, to a lake that stands as a chilling testament to the silent but deadly power of nature's fury. This is a place where beauty and danger coexist in a delicate balance, a reminder of the unpredictable forces that shape our world. Lake Neos in Cameroon might seem like a scene from a postcard. Its serene waters and picturesque surroundings paint a picture of tranquility. But beneath its beauty lies a tragic history, a story of sudden devastation and miraculous survival. This lake, with its calm surface, hides a deadly secret that once unleashed unimaginable horror. As I mentioned before, in 1986, Lake Neos released a massive cloud of carbon dioxide, suffocating nearly 2,000 people and countless animals in nearby villages. This invisible killer struck without warning, turning a peaceful night into a nightmare. The gas, heavier than air, flowed silently through valleys and settlements, leaving a trail of death and despair in its wake. It moved like a ghost, unseen and unheard, until it was too late. Imagine just for a moment the terror of that night, the sudden inability to breathe, the desperate gasps for air, the agonizing silence as life ebbed away, families torn apart, communities shattered in an instant. The sudden inability to breathe, the desperate gasps for air, the agonizing silence as life ebbed away. It's a scene that haunts the memories of those who survived, a night that changed their lives forever. It's a stark reminder of how quickly disaster can strike, how vulnerable we are to the forces of nature. No matter how advanced our technology, we are still at the mercy of the natural world. But amidst the tragedy, there were also stories of incredible survival, tales of human resilience and the will to live, even in the face of overwhelming odds. 
Some villagers caught on higher ground managed to escape the deadly cloud. Their quick thinking and sheer luck saved their lives. Others miraculously survived brief exposures to the gas, waking up to a scene of unimaginable devastation. They found themselves in a world forever changed, grappling with the loss and the trauma of that fateful night. In the aftermath of the disaster, scientists and engineers from around the world came together to find a way to prevent another tragedy. Their mission was clear, to ensure that such a catastrophe would never happen again. They developed a system of pipes to slowly release the CO2 from the lake's depths, a delicate and ongoing process. This innovative solution has been a beacon of hope, showing that through human ingenuity and collaboration, we can mitigate the dangers posed by nature. From the suffocating depths of Lake Neos to the toxic blooms of Lake Erie, we've journeyed across the globe, exploring the hidden dangers of some of the world's most dangerous lakes. These bodies of water, as beautiful as they may be, serve as a powerful reminder of nature's raw power and the importance of respect. Always respect nature's power and stay informed about the places you visit. Whether it's the threat of sudden storms, toxic algae, or deadly gases, knowledge is your best defense. Remember, adventure is out there, but it's always best to be prepared. Stay safe, stay curious, and keep exploring. And don't forget to subscribe for more incredible journeys into the heart of nature's wonders and dangers.